Well, in a lighter note, Lotto Mania is sweeping the nation as millions of Americans take to their nearest convenience store with two dollars and a dream. Lighter's good right now. A lot, lot of yeah, heavy stuff. Yeah, yeah, just you know, yeah. Let's talk about what you do with all that money. The Powerball jackpot closing in on nine hundred billion dollars. Nine hundred billion. Million, million, nine hundred <laughs> million, almost a billion. Thank you for oh catching that. There's a writer strike I here. I wish. Here. <laughs> Mega Millions <laughs> is closer <laughs> to $600 million, yeah. Yeah, the lotto fever has grabbed much of the nation. Even our resident lottery skeptic, Jay Struberg, who joins us live from just outside of Atlanta at a lotto hotspot, has to say. Jay, are people coming in and out all morning? They have been, and if it gets up to nine hundred billion, you may even get me jumping on board this train. I'll tell you what. No, uh, to be get the exact numbers, eight hundred and seventy-five billion or million rather. Now you got it stuck in my see, head see? for the Powerball. That's tomorrow night. Five hundred and sixty million for the Mega Millions. Bottom line, two massive jackpots. Uh, there's only seven times in history has the Mega Millions gone past uh, five hundred and fifty million. Just last November, we had the largest uh, Powerball ever at over two billion dollars, and this current one, eight hundred and seventy-five million, is the third largest. So there is a lot of money at stake. And I was talking with uh, Eddie here, who works at the Quick Trip in the, the Atlanta area that I'm at, um, and he tells me that people have been coming in that business is picking up so many lottery tickets and some people they will buy like 20 and 30 lottery tickets at a time hoping to get in on this and t change their life in a heartbeat of course with that some skepticism because of the fact that your odds are so so minuscule I'll check some of these out you actually have better odds of dying in a plane crash than winning the lottery jackpot being struck by lightning twice Hitting a hole in one, being killed by a shark, all of that, better odds than winning one of these jackpot lotteries, which are right around one and three hundred million. So don't get your hopes up too much. As far as the people that are playing, they're just happy to uh, have their chance at making some money. I spoke to Tyler on his way to work. Every now and then, two dollars could increase your chances of uh, benefiting your future. So why not? You know, you won't win if you don't try. That's true. Do you get like a rush whenever you play? No, I don't keep my hopes up. You keep your hopes up, you you know, end up being disappointed. So just keep your fingers crossed and forget about it until the time comes. And here's a few other numbers to throw at you. $100 billion. That's how much Americans spend every year on lotteries. It is big business. And if you're lower income, you actually tend to spend more as a percentage of your income than it, uh, high income earners. It's when the jackpots get this big that it gets everybody on board uh, this craze, guys. I actually, heard a I actually heard a statistic that it's not just more likely that you'll die in a plane crash, it's actually more likely that you'll survive a plane crash uh Oh, also <laughs> than win the lottery. Wow, you think a plane goes down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're more likely to survive a plane crash as well. But like he said. Can I get away with one more metaphor? Can I yes. get one more metaphor? One of the largest stadiums in the world is in North Korea, capacity 150,000. You would have to take that to capacity and then multiply it by around 2,000. And it's one out of all of that to win the Powerball jackpot. So you're saying there's a chance, Jay. Someone's got to win. Someone's got to win this thing, there man. Is. Someone's <laughs> so, got to win. Maybe Tyler. I right. hope it is Tyler. I liked his attitude. Very, yeah, that's the trick. Low key. <laughs> Low key. Yeah, he yeah. did. Yeah. He did. Sober. Sober. That's the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jay. Thank you. And wishing you luck as well.